Hello, housemates, and welcome back to the Dorkest Estate Over, the Darkest Dungeon. Today, this first week of the second year of our expedition, we have decided to go after one of the veteran level bosses. So, let's see. We have our team assembled, I believe. Yes. Yes. Good. Um, we are going... No, we're not going after the Alluring Siren. We're going after the Swine King. The Swine Prince, presumably the son, maybe illegitimate son of the Swine King, was much earlier vanquished, and now we're climbing up the ladder. After the Swine King, the next level is the Swine God. But we cannot yet approach such a, uh, a disgusting divinity yet. We have to maintain... Uh, we have to first kill all of the temporal porcine royalty. So, uh, we got plenty of cash. Let's make sure everyone is up to snuff. I think we may have done this in the last episode, but I want to double check. So first we're going to be at the guild. Grand core. Uh, that's good. Might I want... This group's not going to do a lot of moving, now that I think of it. Uh, point blank shot may not be of use. We've not used it in the past couple outings. So we could have pistol shot, open vein, grape shot, wicked slice. The difference is 15.5. It's more likely to crit. Uh, this tracking shot doesn't do terribly much. Hmm. So we have one, two, three, and then four, perhaps. Let's give that a shot. I'll have to remember to switch that around. Okay. Fulumbar. Wait. Is this the right crew? That doesn't seem right. Cinnamon Bear and who and Bellicoat. Mumble mumble. Uh, no, that can't be right. So let's think about this again. Um, now, of course, we can go ahead and just use the people that we think will level up uh, on these first ones because we won't be able to use them again. Or we can save them for the particularly difficult ones like the, uh, the Sonorous Prophet of the Veteran level and the Hag of the Veteran level and the 16 Pounder or whatever it is. Um, let's see, the Swine God, Swine King, excuse me. We're gonna want just like lots of damage to take him out fast. Um, some healing. Do we need across the board healing or targeted healing? We want across the board healing for definitely for the Sonorous Prophet or whatever the one is called now and the, the 16 pounder because they just they could do big time AoE damage. So I want to make sure we have a Vestal available for that. We may not need that kind of healing right now. So take Baudry but he might be better against the, the Necromancer thing that we deal with here. And that's Unholy, it's not Eldritch. Yeah. Um, so let's take Baudry. Um, you can take Quasar. She'll be around for, for two, at least two bosses of this level. I want to make sure we can do damage. Cardinal is, of course, good with, for damage. Lethe, we will want to use on an unholy thing. I don't think, I think these are, are they unholy beasts or are they just beasts? I can't remember. Uh, I think there may be beasts and humans even. Uh, let's see, so. Could take. Benoit might not be a good idea. And hmm. 
decisions, decisions. I need to get rid of that cough before we take him on a boss quest. Let's go with this. Spotted fever we can get rid of in mission vis-a-vis -vis the, or not vis-a-vis, -vis, via the plague doctor. Let's do that. All right, we wasted a little bit of cash. Not much. Let's make sure that these people are all upgraded to where they need to be. Right, in terms of their gear they are, in terms of the skills. We don't need Iron Swan for this one. That's good. Okay. Make sure everyone has all the camping skills that we want. What am I missing? Great, good. Make sure all the trinkets are available. <clears throat> okay, we still have plenty of money left. Uh, let's, before we go, stress damage is pretty bad. It's not that bad though. That's not that bad either. I'm gonna make sure that we get rid of things that are bad from the jump in a mission. Creeping cough was a bad one. I'm not worried about rabies. That's good. <clears throat> uh, I don't really want to sort through everyone to find their quirks. Um, yeah, so I think we're good for now. All right, let's make sure everyone has the skills equipped that we want. Check on you. So for you, no one will benefit from the mark, but it does, I mean, no one will benefit from the fact that it's a mark, but from the minus protection, that is actually really good. So I want to keep that around. I um, think I'll get rid of the Hound's Harry and get the Guard. So you can stun, guard, mark, and then do this nice little attack. Sounds good. The usual sort of melee Plague Doctor build we have here. It's good and great and fine. Does everyone have their camp skills all in order? Yep. For you... <clears throat> we want the heal, for sure. We want to equip that camp skill. The stun's probably good. And then... Probably the two... The heal, the two debuffs, and then this stun damage thingy. This is not going to be heavy on damage. All right, um, great. So now let's set people up with items. Okay, um, probably not that. The brawler's gloves are pretty good. We'll need to watch her stress, but she's going to be doing a lot of damage, and we've cancelled out the speed penalty. For you... This was a good thing 
before. I think it worked out just fine. And then the cudgel, which is right here. For you, these two things. For you, definitely Junia's head. And then the debuff skill thing. Not focusing on his damage, so we definitely want this. That helps his stun as well. So we have a pretty good set of stuns. All of these people have stun abilities, and all of them except, well, so, and two of them have items that are buffing their stun skill ability. So we should be able to manage the enemies pretty well in that way. All right, so let's go on to provisioning. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna wanna save one of these doggy treats for the fight against the Swine King. Um, hopefully I'll remember to use it. So we have some anti-venom. We don't need to worry about money. We're not gonna be picking anything up along the way to clutter our inventory. Uh, might as well just take all the food because we're gonna have two stacks taken up anyway. Because the um, occultist stun ability reduces the torch light, we might wanna take some extra torches. We don't wanna run into a shambler in the dark before we um, fight the boss. So this looks like everything we want. We got plenty of cash left in the bank and we'll bring some more home. Let's go. My first attempts at summoning were crude and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. Are we done here? No. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna guess that the, the king is up in the top left or bottom left. Uh, so we'll start, we'll go down and then go to the bottom left and see how that works. Hopefully we can get a scout off. Actually, the best place to try and get a scout off would probably be here in this um, center room. So we'll head for there while the light is high. I think that's the best plan. I probably should have brought... Ooh, shambler thing. I probably should have brought some uh, scouting items. Because you do want to scout when the boss is around. Okay, so this is good that he's in the middle because then we can hit both of these. If he removed one up, we'd only be able to get him. So now we have two people who can act. Um, he does a lot of damage, so let's reduce that possibility. Let's reduce his protection. Stun resistance, 175. That's not going to happen. So let's just mess him up as much as we can. He's still going to get a shot at us. Nothing to be done about that. Ooh, he's going to hit all of us. Death Ow. waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. All right. 
Um, that's what I think of your crits. Quasar don't like you, pig face. Let's give a heal. Look at that, 23. Uh, let's see. We are like very li he will die if we hit him. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. So you can go after this one. Now hopefully he will die before his next turn. Such a terrible not cool, dude. He's gonna be, be stunned. Bye. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. All right, why don't you put some healing on him? This much better. And there. Oh, okay, get another shot. Why are you why are you hassling our cultists? You dickhead. Oh, for the love of Christ. Your fucking problem. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Solar Bracer. Yeah, that's decent. Plus crit and dodge when the light is high. Alright. Did we get a scout? We did not. Another fight. Oh, we got surprised? Lame. Uh, get you into a better position. She's gonna take lots of stress from that attack. Oh, she fucking got disease, you motherfucking pigs. Operate from here, so let him do so. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I only hit one. Diseases. Stop it. You are disgusting. Let's keep Rest cutting. Give them no quarter. Alright. You suck. Always want to limit as much as you can the number of attacks you're going to take, which means going for kills. We'll drop the bracers. I know those are only worth 500, but we are, we've are we just started, so there's a lot of chance to get more of those to stack up. Oh, I should reorder my people. You... There. Get a scout here, so let's 
get the torch up. All right, good. Okay, so we found a secret room and the boss is in fact right here. So we're gonna go over one to deal with this room battle in Curio. We'll rest and then we'll go down to the boss. So that will give us a chance to basically stun all of them with two actions, leaving us two actions to do other things, namely start wearing down the stress causers and healing actually. He's gonna get to go first. Fuck face there. Nice try, idiot. Better try, also idiot. And they're just all gonna go in a row. I see. Alright. Vomit Pig's gonna die. Uh, we can probably still stun him. Yep. can't use that from yeah so I need to switch that skill up I did that just like last episode even Him die. He should die. Okay. The slow death, unforeseen. Hey. Unforgiving. I feel like. Great power. Until camp. Damn it. That was stupid. Oh, that was so dumb. Because we're about to camp right now. Oh. oh well. Nothing to be done about that now. Okay. So, let's camp. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Bye, disease. All right. So. Let's prevent nighttime ambush so that we don't have to fight before the boss. Plus eight crit. She's in position one, so this is good. Let's 
Deuce, first stress. Lit. The path is clear. Onward. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay. Well, hello there, you disgusting piece of garbage. Mm, oh, come yes. on. Vision. The end All right, approaches. his stun resistance is 120. This has 154. It's not terribly likely to work. What's his bleed resistance? It is not good. So let's get to work on bleeding this piggy. All right, they're marked. Wilbur, you're a little shit. Um, Lag Gurned. The ground quakes. Killing Wilbur is uh, not the best idea. Oh, fuck you! What? That was total garbage, you piece of. Oh, fuck off. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Okay, well, this is going very poorly. Fucking got stunned by. No. Got stunned my whole team. This fucking garbage. Alright, so. Fuck. Are you serious? They get so many turns. All right, we are not in good shape. Um, he's going to die. Oh, come on. At the very precipice All right. of oblivion. We are probably going to lose this mission. He gets enraged. Done. Or expire. It's such garbage. So 
we're very likely to lose a character. We're probably going to lose our cultist. Is it worth trying to stun him? Not protecting the little swine, that motherfucker is dead. <sighs> Take seven. We still have to do a lot of damage to him here. gonna die before he gets to do anything to us. Which is something. Thing is even oh. more than death. That was Liquid terrible. Action cannot come soon enough. Everyone except the plague doctor got put to death's door. Yeah, that was not good at all. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm obviously going to be very tempted to just leave right now. So we don't have another camp. And we are not in great shape. But let's continue and see how far we can get. Okay, so we can try and go straight back to that uh, room there. Just hope that nothing unpleasant crops up in our way. Um, we've explored, not explored, we've scouted all these, so we can just go collect these curios. should be fine. Some reward for a task yeah, well performed. Not particularly handsome. Nope. So, the layout of the dungeon has helped us such that. Um, oh wow, we still managed to scout. Uh, such that we have we got a good scout and we haven't had a lot of combat. So even though we got totally torn up, we can go through. Um, seeking empty loot bags, apparently, with little concern. Now, we do need to worry about the possibility that a fight pops up in our way. We just need to watch very carefully for that. We also need to watch that she doesn't get too stressed out. She does have a plus stress damage item on her, which is part of the reason why she's accumulating so much stress. Also, there were just so many crits in that fight. Taros may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Nope. So we're going to move to this secret room. All right, this has made things a bit more worthwhile. Let's drop the torches. 
Let's drop this, this, take all that. We are out of here. So, that was brutal. Um, we just got absolutely mangled by that boss. The group stun thing, uh, we just didn't have high enough stun resistance. We, the whole team pretty much got stunned each time we did that, which was just really bad. Everyone, save the save Quasar, got put to death's door, but we came out on top. Uh, we came back with, a, you know, about 16,000 gold, uh, only because we found that uh, secret room and bothered to make our way there. We got a total of six portraits, which is good, and this excellent candle, which will be able to replace Junia's head. It not only boosts the healing by more, it also doesn't have the penalty associated with it, so that's great. So, Baudry went up to five, as did Brios. The other two remain for other veteran level bosses. Wheel Tactician, Nocturnal. So, all in all, not bad. It was really close there. I was almost positive that I was going to lose somebody. And that would have been a big bummer. But we squeaked by by the skin of our teeth. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. No. All right. So, uh, Baudry, though he is a champion, is quite stressed out. He will only meditate, so to the meditation room we will send oops. To the meditation room we will send him. Uh, actually, should we upgrade these at all? A little hope, however desperate, is never without worth. Okay, Brios also probably needs to go somewhere. She cannot meditate. She can do anything else. So why don't you pray? Sort of Pot and Quasar did not get that stressed out. <clears throat> so, well, one down. There are only champion level things here. Whoa, what the hell? That is awesome. I mean, I am not prepared for a champion level quest, but that, that fucking crystal, man, that's where it's at. All right, so we saw that those veteran level bosses are not something to be trifled with. Even level four people upgraded as far as they can be barely made it out. So we'll have to think a bit more next time. The Necromancer, we could get a legendary bracer, which is not that great. You get a martyr seal. We get an Occultist Cauldron, so we will probably not do another um, uh, veteran level boss next time. We'll do something else. Rampart Shield. We might go for this. This is pretty good. Oh, this would be nice. We don't have... We haven't had any good Bounty Hunter items, so this would be a good one to do. And we don't really focus on his move skills to begin with. And it gets his portraits. We are definitely doing this. Um, I'm tempted. I might take... Uh, Gurney on this. I don't really think that taking her on a boss mission is going to be helpful. She just doesn't contribute much to that kind of uh, mission. So I will probably take her for her last um, veteran level mission on here. Let's go ahead and plop her in there. Um, we don't want to level anyone else out. So we could take Tabraham. He would be safe, I believe. Grand Core would, uh, Digby would be safe. Hodank would be safe. Uh, what disease do you have? Bulimic, that's fine. Um, oh, actually, why am I, no, no, don't take level four people. Take level three people. Duh. All right, so, uh, no, get back, Gurney. So don't, I'm not worried about her out leveling. And now we'll move down to level three people to get that in level four. Who shall we take? Let's take Eskimo. Try out that new Jester item. Um, it's in the wield, so there are eldritchy things. 
humans and whatnot. Um, no point in taking Bellicote, I don't think. We're running out of level 3 people. <laughs> um, take Peck off. Damn it, that's not what I meant to do. Come back. Peck off. And then, I suppose... Ferrer. So that's who we're going to take next time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. This was our first veteran boss mission. And ultimately it was successful, but it was, you know, it was a harrowing experience. And we have more of those to look forward to. We still need... Um, oh, we can upgrade this now. Word is traveling. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. So we, we have to use this. upgrade our blacksmith a bit more to get that last level. And we have deeds enough for one, but not crests. Uh, and remember, we don't need these upgrades for the veteran level things. We need them for the champion level things. So uh, we, are, we are not behind because of that. So that's all for this episode. Please hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. And please subscribe, if you already haven't, obviously, to my channel so that you can see the continued exploits of the Dorcast Estate crew. If you're not going to do any of those things, then, well, you're really missing out, and I don't care what you do.